Let's take a look at a differentiation problem. If I asked you to differentiate one-tenth of one plus x cubed to the tenth power, you'd probably use the, uh, the chain rule, right? One-tenth times ten, one plus x cubed to the ninth, times three x squared. The three x squared comes from the derivative of the one plus x cubed. So this simplifies the one-tenth and the tenth cancels to one plus x cubed to the ninth times three x squared. So we use the chain rule to differentiate something like this. But remember, every derivative formula can also be written as an integral formula. So if I take this as my integrand, the integral of this function with respect to x equals this function, 1 tenth, 1 plus x cubed, all raised to the tenth power plus c. Now, what I want to ask you about this is, how would we have done this if we didn't actually start with a derivative problem, if we didn't actually know what the answer was to begin with? How would we have integrated this? And the answer is the method of substitution. We use the chain rule to get this derivative. The method of substitution kind of reverses the process of the chain rule. It undoes the chain rule. So this is like a reverse chain rule. And let me show you how it works. Whenever you use the chain rule or the method of substitution, you usually have a composite function of some kind involved in your integral. You want to look at um, the inside part of that composite function. In this case, that's the 1 plus x cubed. And you're going to substitute for that. This is essentially a change of variables trick. I'm going to let w equal 1 plus x cubed. So this is going to become w. And then I need uh, the derivative of that with respect to x. The derivative of w is going to be 3x squared. <clears throat> and very important, whenever you have an integral, you always have this little dx or d something. This is called a differential. You can get a differential from a derivative like this by multiplying both sides by dx. So the differential I, I'm going to need to change to is dw. And so this is going to be my conversion. Now let me show you how this works. So the 1 plus x cubed, that's w to the ninth times 3x squared dx, that's exactly dw. So by a change of variables, I've turned this difficult integral into this very easy one. I can integrate this using the power rule for anti-differentiation. And remember, the way that works is you add 1 to the exponent. This becomes w to the 10th. And you divide by that same new exponent, plus c. Now, because I want my answer to be in terms of x, I need to convert back again. Remembering that w is 1 plus x cubed, I just plug that back in. 1 plus x cubed all to the 10th over 10 plus c. And that's it. That's how you uh, use the method of substitution to obtain an antiderivative for a complicated function like this. It basically undoes the chain rule. So whenever you see a composite function or something that you don't think can, uh, corresponds to any of the, uh, the integration formulas that you know, Try to use the method of substitution. It works a lot.